Hey guys, welcome to Eons of Battle, and in this video I will be showing you how to make some bases that will look great on all your Blackstone Fortress miniatures. Here are the paints I'll be using, and all the products I use can be found in the video description. First thing I did was I traced my bases onto some cardboard using a pencil. Then I took a ruler and began making random straight lines, creating mosaic, triangular patterns all over the base. Then I took my trusty hobby knife and I cut out these bases. Once they were carved out, I began using my hobby knife to cut out some of the lines I made myself, and when the pieces got too small, I broke out the chisel exacto blade and that helped me get the smallest pieces cut. Then I rebuilt this onto the base with some Elmer's glue and while it was drying, I pushed the pieces apart so that there was a little gap in between the tiles. Once that was dry, I went back in with my X-Acto knife and trimmed the edges flush with the base. Make sure you cut it out like I'm doing, because if you use scissors for this, you might pull off the small cardboard pieces. Then I poured some super glue into small areas of the base and sprinkled on some small pebbles here and there to make it look like a proper, spooky, abandoned Blackstone Fortress. Once that was dry, I primed the models black. I'm using an airbrush, but you could just as easily apply the primer with a rattle can. Then I took a small piece of paper and used this and my airbrush to carefully highlight the edges of my tiles. I didn't do it for every edge, I left it very random to get the mysterious effect. And then to further highlight the tiles and the little rocks, I dry brushed the bases with some Vallejo Stonewall Gray. And, because of how cool Blackstone Fortress is, I wanted to give them rims to match, so I painted them with some Vallejo gunmetal. And there you have three Blackstone Fortress bases. We make tutorials like these every week, and if you get some use out of them, perhaps you would like to help us make more by supporting us over on Patreon. And you'll get some behind the scenes and exclusive content as well. If you're looking for another spooky and sinister base, might I recommend our Grim Dark base. Find this video and lots more like it on our basing playlist, where you will find tons of easy to accomplish bases. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.